app, I think, is the biggest conversation. And this is a little glimpse of exactly how it looks like. So we're jumping in. M4 is the first one. I want to make sure I can hear the game sound. It's like I can certainly hear the crowd, but no gunshots just yet for me. And it's Phelps who finds the first. MIBR taking on Ents. Ariel versus Phelps, first to seven. Yeah, and uh, it's important to note that teams send out kind of their own individual player, you know, to... Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, okay, so this is a it big the key. Part. Exactly. So this is one of the changes. You can actually shoot out the floors. You can also shoot out the top uh, top boxes, the sky boxes, <laughs> if you like, and actually, you know, kill players in that fashion. Oh, so there's a lot to look out for on the side of the players, really, for someone who hasn't really, you know, had too much time to actually get used to it. And you can see Ariel is definitely, uh, well, he has developed a strategy already to kind of take out some of the early aggression. You can do that on your own uh, side as well to, to kind of make sure that nobody else is going to do it to you. There we go, Phelps equalizing it so far. I love this map. Now, what's interesting as well is that they showed us, and I assume the players, they, they're actually, they told us the players have had access to this all yes, this long. Yes, they had. So the, if you wanted a key that you could, the grenades set up, you can see the glowing golden HE actually down there as well. Ariel's going to find another one nice and easy. But you can surf around the outside of this map, and that is what makes me oh so excited. If anyone's feeling spicy, let's not forget, you get a knife kill. You are, oh, there we go, I can hear it. But if you get a knife kill, you instantly win your round. And there's another <laughs> one, that's twice. Ariel just dumps him with the boxes. He's it, got the strats. We know, yeah, we know that ends are a strategical team, Ooh. but this is very quick. Yeah, it just seems like Phelps oh, has had enough of it. It's Phelps. Is he hanging out on the ice oh, okay. below? Yeah, you need to be careful of those boxes. As you can see, they, so they, destroy the, they destroy the floor as well. Right. So he doesn't really have a retreat path right now. This is his safe ramp, but he's kind of locked into it. Ariel just air striking in round seven. Let's not forget seven is the magic number. Oh, pushing, looks good. Ariel takes him five now for him. Yeah, and, and important to note as well, even though Pelts were to eventually you know, potentially lose this uh, this duel, yeah. the more frags he can get, the better, because the total is what matters for both teams, not necessarily just... Right, yeah, your combined it. kills is, exactly. is the winner. And of course, dollars for that winner as well. Straight down he goes, Ariel. The same. It's really weird. It's about those boxes. so confusing. Phelps is going to get aerial. We're keeping this one nice and close. It's kind of, it does have that kind of uh, HE glass vibe. There is a name oh, yes. down there. Very powerful tool should they choose to use it. In fact, you can see actually Phelps has managed to acquire it. Whether he chooses to use it, every question just bullets is all he needs. Yeah, and you can use it now. Like the one, obviously, the one upside about the HE is that it's going to not just take out one frame of glass, it's going to take out multiple ones. Yeah. And he seems like he's ducking down every, I mean, every single time because he's so afraid of Ariel using the skyboxes. He's trained him. He's trained him well. Phelps gets, that gets down there every single round. Ariel's going to try and do something a bit different here. It looks like immediately drops the first box. Now starting some aggression. Oh, this is going to be close quarters. Flashbang there. Not going to use the boxes. Do break as does the wall. And Ariel is going to win the first round. Not too shabby. So sets off ends in a nice little spot there. And I think this is going to be a big challenge for all players who get chosen to uh, to venture into this seven, crazy, crazy map. Seven to five, right? So keep get get your notepad out, and we'll keep the uh, keep track of those kills. I think actually the graphic will do it for you as well. But just because we're peasants, we'll do it the old-fashioned way. Numbers are really hard. They are, aren't they? So. so who's next? What was the next weapon? So I'm pretty sure there's a deagle round. Yep, and that's and the one's next. coming up. So Alexi B has been selected for that as Alu. Last minute, comms gets the smile on the face of the fin. It's a rare occurrence, so uh, we'll appreciate that one. Yeah, I do get the sense that Alu is going to be last man standing on that up round. One would hope so. Yeah, one would certainly hope so. There's an AK next as well. It looks like it's Taco. Like Taco's been given the deagle. See if we're giving him some, uh, some advice as well. See how he does, though. But I, I'm, I'm really curious to see who's going to be the first player to actually step outside of the bounds of the map and actually surf along. Who's the KZ star here? Yeah, that's actually a really big question. I mean, obviously, it might be harder to do in certain rounds, like when you're going up against rifles, because you do become a bit of a target. Deagle. Exactly. Deagle, Ooh. CZ, can get some speed on that. And we're off to the races. Sacco versus Alexi V. And already a body shot takes him down to 43. I'm not really sure how many bullets it takes to actually remove these walls. It looks like about, you know, five, five bullets from that M4 on the spread. Yeah. Bring it down. Taco has a clear plan in mind. You seen Alexi play? That's yeah. what to do. Taking notes. Okay, so that's three deagle bullets into that one. We did see it disappear. We're not tripping. <laughs> it's definitely not on us. It does actually disappear. Could actually land some bullets into that wall right in front of me if you wanted to. Really, 
really am hoping we there get we stuff. Go. There it goes. Okay. So it can, so the walls are destructible. Alexi will equalize. I want to see Alexi get on <laughs> the HE. So obviously the, it's hard to get the HE because of where it's placed. But after you win around, that's kind of your time to shine in that right. case. Let's see who actually picks it up first. Because that could be like really, really difficult to deal with. Nice shot from Taco. My first uh, round ended 7 to 5 in favor of this. I just love seeing it's those the, boxes. Yeah, it's the opener where you, Paco doesn't even fire a bullet. He's just uh, avoiding falling <laughs> boxes. This is a whole new take on the 1v1. Lexi, he definitely has it in mind to pick up that HD. Thinking about it. Right. You could shoot your own out, right? If, you were, if yes. you're planning on holding, you could just blow those boxes early. Sidestep. Oh, he knows where he is. That wall is destructible as well. Probably not going to be too effective on the Desert Eagle round. Doing a lot of damage, though. 11 HP on Alexi. 9 to 7. That's fantastic. A nice work from Taco. Another one for MIBR. Puts it 9 to 8 to keep things nice and close. Yeah, still haven't seen the AG come into play just yet. I can't believe Phelps died twice <laughs> to that. that falling box. I think it's easy to forget. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, then. We're going to back 3 to 3. It's a flash. You got a flash. I mean, you could break glass with that as well. Don't forget. Yeah. So far, they're just seem, seeming to be uh, content with the shooting at each other. He's, yeah, these guys are aimers. These are fraggers. They're not having any of that frills. Drops, attack, is kind of surprising. Alexi, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that floor, it's scary. The wall's gone too. Hasn't got any bullets. Manages to just get about get the fresh mag in, but no, not to be. And that, I think that was a nade. No, he didn't oh, get it. No, oh, barely. so close. So, surfing, tell me. There we go. Surfing USA. Here we go, the KZ start. Oh, he doesn't expect it now. He's got a chance of Taco. He flicks in time. 4-4. Four, four. 11 to 8 total. This is the second round of the standoff. Don't forget that. I can tell how quickly he gets across the map there. Yeah, that is. I mean, that's the play. That's efficient. Shizzle. Don't have to worry about any skyboxes like falling on your head either. Oh, not only does he lose the wall, he loses the floor. Oh, he's trying to take with the box. It's, it does roll down that ramp. It's actually, it's a, you have to really be quite an evasive maneuver to get out of that one. Oh, good decision. I could see it being a play like knocking someone down to the lower floor and then throwing an HE. That's, I mean, that's a death sentence. You have to combo it, right? See if any of these players get to have that opportunity. So far, though, it's been all about the one digs. There's 20k on the line. It's not chump change, for no, sure. No, definitely not. Okay. Taco just removing potential. <laughs> Dangerous. Ooh, oh, Alexi. Oh, he doesn't look far off. He gets oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Alexi goes down as well. Now that's going to be 12 to 10 total, 5 to 5 in this round. That's I'm just going to take that scoreline as gospel. Yep. And now Taiko picking a bit of a more sneaky snake in the grass. First to seven. These are tight games. Very, very tight games. Two advantage made three by Alexi B. Yep. One away from playing this one, it's not that good tie, and it'll just be a very, very marginal gap for that AK round next. Echo's down, that's an deep. Through the wall, so he's not complaining too much. Moves his own cover, down the box goes. Doesn't connect this time. Oh, and that's Alexi B finishing 7-5. to five. It's a nice little lead accured over the first two for the Finns. <laughs> Feels like no taking it like it's nothing. Yeah. That puts uh, our Finnish team up to 14. I see Colt Zera putting headphones into the AK. Yeah, that should be a good one. Who do you think who's going you, up yeah, there? Sergey, I'm thinking. Sergey, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, so... Uh, and then you've got X7CZ and then Alu Orp first Fallen. That's going to be a juicy one. Yeesh. Let's see, though. Actually, no, it's X7. It's X7, okay, yeah. then. So, apparently, Sergey being a bit of a CZ expert, apparently. Yeah, and you can see, I mean, let's all appreciate the hard work there. That is Graham Macioso Pitt. Admin of Blast, X of course, ESL admin. He's been growing his hair out for a year now. He can nearly put it in a bun. So he's been really, he's really excited about that. There's something to look forward to. I think to. you've dabbled with a man bun in the past. Uh, I've, uh, I have i not really call it doing, a bun. You were doing longer hair, hair ties were involved way before it was. Oh yeah, no, I, I have, I've had GC's hair. Yeah, I mean, I think we called you a vampire for a while, actually. Yeah, I know, you had the, did. the Norwegian never seen Paleness, sun look yeah. with the long hair. You know, it's rough, you know, it came out oh, of the... Uh, rough. <laughs> Tournaments in February, haven't seen much sun in a while. <laughs> Long hair, yeah, it definitely was a, a certain, it I, was an acquired taste. Yeah, I liked the look, for sure. But anyway, X7's got the first frag. We're into our third round of the standoff. Of course, grand final's coming. Don't you move a muscle if this isn't your cup of tea. And already, Cold's got himself that HE. 
Yeah, after he wasted it. Oh, he's got it. Is he open with it? No, he should. Nothing's gonna work. Just yeah, except for pushing, and he's comfortably fine. Number two. Yeah, I, f I feel like he needs to use the HE as a bit of a, like, you trap your player or your opponent in, in an area of the map, yeah. right? Oh, he's trying to bait him on one. Seven coming straight from behind with the surf. It's not gonna lie, dude. That is so well played. <laughs> That's gorgeous. That's so much fun. So, so far, only the Finns actually take it to surfing. I think he's gonna do that again. Straight yep. up, he's like, okay, yep. that. This is my thing. You can mess this up, but X7's not gonna do it. Oh, Coldera! I don't he's think not he's aware. Warned. He is not aware. If he does it again, Coldera, if you don't work this, he's gonna work this out. Okay. Surely. He's dropped this time. Yeah, it's <laughs> like he came perfect from the side here. Not safe here. Oh, apparently long. not. Five to one. X7 so far dominating Colzera. Not what I would have expected. No, certainly not. Colzera, of course, a new terrain for him and Paul. Except he's trying to find all these sweaty <laughs> angles already. Look at that. You think he's practiced? I think so. Well, Cold seemingly having an idea of where he is. He can't shoot down that wall. He does so as well and finds X7 defenseless. Throws away his flash. I kind of love that this is this is the kind of thing that you know the CS community they don't get to see too much. This is this is what players oh, yeah. up to. I mean, not I'm not saying they're playing aim servers all day. This is the this is like a warm up session. Exactly. Oh, there is not going to connect. It's seven so damn quick. This is actually this is the big lead. It took him three rounds to actually start building it up, and now 20 to 12. There's going to be a lot of pressure on the next two rounds for MIBR if they want to get close to this one again. Oh my That's god, the quickest round yet. Utter domination from X7 there. Definitely didn't expect that. I was expecting to see Sergey, yeah. the young Finnish prodigy, take place, but not to be. Oh, up. And I mean, that does leave us with Anset 21. Yeah, so basically... 21 and 12. 21 and 12. This gets really awkward. Gets really dicey. We're gonna need, we to need see a some knife domination. Kill. No, we need a knife kill straight up. 7-0, don't forget it. That's true, actually. Yeah, you just outright win the duel if you get a knife kill. How do you go about that? I guess you have to go surfing. I'm surfing. Yeah. I'm getting a flash. I'm flashing high, mid-surf. Why yeah, okay. <laughs> Stabbing him in the back. You're doing a whole lot of things. That, <laughs> that scared me. I thought if I wasn't even sat down. Okay. We're good, we're good. And we are off. CZ75 AWP will be our grand finale. And I think Fur. He's, uh, he's taking a leaf out of X7's book. He's looking towards oh, the yeah. corner. He's, he knows what to do here. Yeah, exactly. And it, to be fair, it makes sense. You kind of need to get up close and personal with that weapon. We'll see, though, what he's picked up. So, so far, it's been the fins to utilize the boxes. So here's some theory for you. All right. There's only 24 bullets in a CZ-75. Do we? Uh, if ooh. we have a scrappy round, then it's knives at dawn. Oh, the winner takes the round. Imagine if that happens in the first round. <laughs> I mean, yeah, exactly. Fur's on his way round. Around the world, strafes around, safe and sound, looking to connect themselves. That's the first for MIBR. He needs to do this cleanly. Yeah. I mean, if, if you want to play, I guess it's, it's a bit of a risk, right? But you, obviously, you're not going to shoot out a lot of boxes. But if you bait out enough bullets and you try to go for the 7-0, is that the play? Or is that too much to risk? That's such a gamble. I mean, we're going into an op round after this as well. Yeah. Definitely possible to have an op miss a shot when you're close up. Shoot the box. Shoot the box. Oh, yeah. Is listening. Ooh, Sergey needs to be careful. It's close. Well, that's becoming a factor, but Sergey connects. We keep things level. At least for now. So, let's see if Fur goes back to the surfing ways. He's on his way around the world. You can actually, you can go oh, all the way around. around. Yeah. yeah, there is a there is a round behind that corner. Ooh, nicely done. I, I want to see someone actually just like go the ring around the rosy, oh, just constantly that toy with their the opponents. Plan. That is the plan. So, okay, he's having none of that strafing nonsense. He doesn't want to serve, he just wants to brag. To be fair, there is $20,000 yeah. on the line. Sure, sure. Not even every but day. You could do it with style. And oh, they come down the ramp. They could have broken the glass beneath him. You can hear them do it. Oh, oh. dirty, dirty. There is so few spots that are actually safe. There's glass beneath, like there's a double layer of glass there. If he, if he double fires, double taps that CZ, he plummets yep. to his death. Oh, boxes. Falls to the box. That's a rough one. And now it's getting into dangerous territory. You can see the the, the round difference is 10 yeah. as of right now. And the most falling can win by a 7-0. Yes. So Fur needs to hurry up and knife him. <laughs> Either that or expose him out. That'd be as easy though. That like, box is destructible. Do you, yeah, do you break that box, pick up the flash? Oh, I'm or knife the box, I guess? That's that's all the cover he's working with right now. It is destructible. No. Could take a dive into the lower ends of 
the playing field as well. Right now, though, he's got eight bullets left. Oh, please, I really want to run I'm, I'm, I'm really curious as to how many bullets Sergei has yeah, left, we though. We can't see the clip, that's unfortunate. Okay, nine so bullets. Nine. Yes, this is it. This it's is unfortunate HP as well. This could be a slice. It could just be a yeah, slice and dice. He's going to drop down. Oh, no. I've done it. One bullet left. I got one bullet left. I can see this getting really weird at a point in time. But I mean, I just wish that someone overinvested on cr like smashing the boxes of the glass. Yeah. Okay, I can it's like, it. oh, that. Yeah. I flash. I can use it. I saw that going into the box above him. <laughs> oh my god, that would be a turn of events. He's found a nice little ratty angle. Nothing's going to come of it. And instead, he's going to be pushed down to. Well, to demise in the end, Sergei's going to get himself a little flashbang to take into round six. This is getting problematic for MIBR. They're running out of uh, chances. 22 is the max they can get from Fallen. Now, Sergei has to basically just get a couple of more rounds. A couple more and then start secure. Ooh. And oh, this is scary. Sergei's oh, played oh, yes. oh, Sergei, yeah, he's no stranger to this game concept. All right, inching closer here now for preferably needs to close it out. Excuse me! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I just think, I just took a big shot of helium. Yeah. <laughs> Went through puberty at the same yeah, time. Yeah, that was intense. I've never, I've, I've <laughs> never seen Sergey fur surf towards each other with pistols before. That, that was like old school, like Lansing yeah. going on there. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, oh boxes. boxes. Far off. Fur pushing forwards. By the flash box and all quick from fur. They need every round now. Has to be seven five. Has to be. Really needs to close this out. I feel like the, the immediate box drop isn't shouldn't be as effective. It's it has. I mean, I just can't believe Phelps died twice to it yeah. before we even really understood what was happening. So oh, Phelps! Oh. Shoot the floor. He doesn't need to. Finds the head instead. That would have been dirty. Yeah, just, it, yeah. you're pretty cool if you let him walk down That's onto the, the restrictable floor. Send him to his doom. Oh. Thought about it. Yeah, I think, oh, well, let's see how far it gets him. all his shots. Down to 32 and 16, respectively. If only he had the HE, I bet he wishes. And you could still get it. Let's not forget it's down in that lower levels. But the floor is so fragile. And oh, look at that. <laughs> He's drawn his eyes to the box and caught trying to adjust Sergei. Swag from him. Drops down low. The ramp is safe and secure. That wall isn't, though. These fins remarkably good at adapting. Yeah. Oh, look, look at that. Again? It's twice in a row for. Eyes into the sky, and Sergei punishes him. Ends. They're pretty much locked in for this one, but I'm looking yeah. forward to Alu and Fallen to finish this one off. And I mean, considering the situation of it all, maybe we get to see some more experimentation. I would like to see two ops actually surfing at each other. What, some no scopes at dawn? Oh, yeah. yes. Okay. So, like, cue the Western music. <laughs> I'm down. I'm totally down. Make it happen. Wait, if he's sending Sergei in again, no, Alu's sitting down. I get this. Okay. It's not a whole lot to discuss in terms of like who you're bringing out to the next. Yeah, no, we've locked that one in. We've definitely locked that in. Yeah, Fallen seems ready. He's going to take a sip of refreshment because I know this one's going to be a, a spicy grand finale before the grand finals. In fact, don't forget, we do have the grand finals coming up after this one. And so close yet so far for draw and down to round difference. Liquid will be taking on Astralis in the grand finals after this one. Yeah, for uh, and it's obviously going to be a nice little consolation price. You don't go empty-handed in that sense. Yeah, good now one for sure. Yeah, one for Fallen, obviously. A bit of uh, reputation on the line here, going up against uh, another familiar offer. Yeah, I mean, both of them so very, very impressive. And if I'm not mistaken, they don't have a secondary weapon. He's straight from the serve. Yeah, I love it. Trying to get that showmanship. Oh, 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 that is not blowing my mind, I'll tell you that now. <laughs> Minus one, Alu off from a flying start. And he's, I think he actually got the nade, or he's right next to it. Oh, oh dear. Oh, oh Paul is. dear. Paul is trying to surprise. And we're back on the drawing board. Something tells me Fallen hasn't been spending too much time on Key. Yeah, but Key's at a sure surfers. Perhaps the surfing. Uh, oh, come on. Yeah, there you go. Oh, he's trying to bait the drop and then go high. I like this. Quick from Fallen. Now we can get the need, though. Doesn't seem too worried about it. Because he's going to do the same thing again. You know, I, you know, I think it's safe to assume that the players were probably focusing on. Uh, the, the normal maps? Yeah, <laughs> to this, uh, this standoff. That is fair, but this will be a recurring I thing. So, so, you know, I'm when we get to Miami, it's going to be here again. I mean, that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that this map is popular enough that we see more of it until players are all familiar with its ins and outs. Yeah, exactly. It's a real sweaty standoff. For right now, though, Fallen. 
I mean, Alibi hasn't Bart. actually got a kill yet. There it is. Uh, yeah, that's actually very true, because Fallen decided to take the first one off the... That's what I look like when I serve. <laughs> Slightly more frustration, though. Yeah. All the already leg shot it. Ooh, LC spotted, but it's quick enough to react. Three to four. I want to see Alu surf. I yeah, I mean, does Alu surf? That's the real question. Looks like he's yes, he does. For it. He's off. Doesn't pull a fall and just yeah, oh. <laughs> fall and catches him. Let's see if he can redeem himself. No. <laughs> okay, okay, straight up, Gabriel. I think it's time to just accept <laughs> this isn't your cup of tea. <laughs> oh, I guess he, he he didn't die within the time frame, so still. No, no, we're good. We're good. We're five, good. Yeah, five to three. Showman, you know. Ali's walking just on the other side Ooh. of that. Oh, oh this spotted him. Oh no, that's the nade. Yeah, we. Yeah, finally. Now we're cooking. Where do you throw that? It looks like he's not looking for the left side. In fact, might even get some info first. Cooking with shrapnel. It's in the open though. Yeah, it's just very great. bold. Fallen's holding the push. Oh, that's info, and that's a fast connection from that. <laughs> that's just away the nade. Celebratory nade. He doesn't need any of that. He's here for the orping. No. Yep. Well. Got a pride on the line here. Strand. One more. Fallen is off. Could win a duel for uh, MIPR, finally. Oh, he got the nade. It's going towards Ali's uh, location, not to be. Fallen just needs one more to close this one out. End the standoff right here, right now. Or Alu can give us an extra round of fun and games before the series does begin. It's going to be easy for Alu. 6-6, six, six, we've got one more in us. Final round to decide it. Familiar territory for Ents. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Why you got to do us like that? It's too soon, man. Too soon. Drops. Here it comes out. It's going to be close quarters. Fallen actually connects the shot down to 20 HP. Alu's got another shot at things. You just back all the wall yeah, to pieces. That's the play, right? Oh, and Alu's going to take it. Ents comfortably secure.